grandson of Richard H. Pass, and Richard Pass in the early teens was a naval instructor at Pensacola, and his hobby was taking photos, and a very amazing man and in inventions. He developed the non-detectable landmine, was president of Syracuse, China, and also one of the heads of Pass and Seymour Electric. But in his early days, he was involved very heavily in the aircraft. And these are photos that have shown up. He gave me the album in the early 1960s, and I've had it ever since. And a lot of these photos were shot in 1915, 1916, and 17, and all the way up to 1919. And Rich, where, where were the pictures made? I'm sorry to interrupt. But... They were all shot at Pensacola. Naval Air Station. Naval Air Station. And when we visited Pensacola, they have a lot of gaps in what was there in the early days, and we showed them photos of the whole layout that Richard took from above the site, and they were completely blown away. I would say probably 19, 19, 1918, somewhere in that era. That's a long time before Lindbergh. Right. right. And so what they did is the Navy stationed air, uh, ships completely across from Newfoundland so that the planes, because the, the range was terrifying, and only one aircraft out of the four made it. In Pensacola, they have one of the big ones that actually made it. This is the one aircraft that did make it, and it's up in Pensacola at the Naval Air Museum. Then Richard took photos of the, the first V-wing um, float plane, seaplane, Back in, in the, I think the, the date on the photo is 1917, and uh, I remember reading in Popular Mechanics about how the V-Wing can only be flown by computers and all this other stuff, and I was a little baffled, because here I have a photo from 1917 of them flying a V-Wing aircraft with no fuselage. Weren't they also developing the aircraft used on capital ships, on battleships and catapulted for reconnaissance? Were those planes designed and built at Pensacola then? I don't know. I never never saw any photos of those. And yet there's one in the Pass album. Right. So, I mean, there, there's a lot of things that he took photos of. He loved the cloud formations and he loved... Them actually, and he explained to me before his passing that a lot of the stuff was done by the seat of the pants. And when they would look at the hull shape, a guy would actually sit on the ailerons on the rear. There's a picture like that. Right. With a camera taking pictures to show what the hull looked like as it's going through the water because nobody could describe it. So, you know, I mean, these guys were nuts.